Good evening. Hello. Hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, everybody. Hello. Good evening. We are waiting for some more people. <laughs> they are coming, probably. Yes, they are coming. I see. We see Mr. Melvin Mejia, Miss Alison Milena Lemus, Miss Nidia Esmeralda Marroquín, and Miss Jamie Rajo. How are you, Miss? I'm fine, thank you. Glad. Thank you, teacher. I'm happy. I'm glad to be here. I'm fine, thank you. Okay. Let's wait. Let's see what happened to the other students. Say hello. Hello. <laughs> they are quiet. Say good evening. Uh huh. <laughs> An expression. Okay. Well, welcome. Tonight, tonight is Wednesday, right? Wednesday, yes, Wednesday, March 16th, the 16th of March. Yes, yes. Oh my God. January, February, March. <laughs> this is the third month and half Super of the past. Super fast. Fast. Yes, very fast. Mm, imagine, like three more weeks, we are on vacation. Ooh, that's awesome. That's really nice. Well, let's get started. While well, the other people join the class, it's okay. I'm going to share what the class will be about tonight. Yes, this is what I have planned. And of course, this is our class number 13. So at the end of this class, students will be able to narrate past events using the past of be, was, or where. Use affirmative or negative sentence as well as ask yes, no questions, and WH questions using the past of be, was, where. All right, so this is the topic, the past of the verb be. It's a very interesting topic, definitely. We have to be able to use I was, he was, she was, it was, and you were, we were, they were, right? So that's the past of be, instead of in present, you know it's I am, you are, he is, she is, it is, we are, they are, right? But in the past, we say, I was, no, I am, right? I am is in present, I was is in the past. So this is what we're gonna study. But of course, we're gonna have some other activities, okay? Extra activities to review the past tense. We already studied the past tense of the other verse, of the action verse. And we already know that we have regulars and irregular verse. And for the regular verse, we only add an extra ed, and the pronunciation may vary. But for the irregular verse, we need to remember the past form of the irregular verse. But now, we're going to study only the past of the verb be, because this is a special case. So the verb be doesn't need an auxiliary. The verb be is only <laughs> with the one and only that can be his own auxiliary, okay? We say, were you at home last night? Were you at work yesterday? So we don't need, did you wear? So we don't need the auxiliary for the verb be in past, right? So neither in past nor in present. So it's, it's, it's a very unique verb. So this is what we're gonna be studying, all right? But to start with, we're gonna have a reading. 
these three people have a weekend story. This is an article that says who had a terrible weekend, who enjoyed the weekend, and who learned a lot over the weekend. This is a short reading. We have Kelly, Robert, and Irene. Kelly says, let me just get the, the little thing of oh, this one, the spotlight. I love this one, okay? Kelly says, I had a great weekend. I went to my best friend Helen's wedding. She got married at home. All her friends and family went. She looked fantastic. She wore a beautiful dress. After the ceremony, her parents served a wonderful meal. I am really happy for her and I really like her husband. So she talked about her weekend. She went to a wedding. She went to a friend's wedding, right? Then we have Robert. It says, I had, a, I had an awful weekend. My friends and I went to a rock concert. I had a terrible time. It took three hours to drive there. I didn't like the music at all. And after the concert, after the concert ended, our car broke down. I called my parents and they came and got us. We finally got home at 10 this morning. I am so tired. Then we have Irene. Irene, Irene, I think Irene. All right. I had an interesting weekend. I went camping for the first time. My friends took me. We left on Saturday and drove to the campsite. First, we put up the rent, the tent, sorry. Then we built a fire, cooked dinner, and told stories. We got up early on Sunday and went fish and went fishing. I caught a fish. I didn't really like camping, but I learned a lot. Yes. So these are three stories about the weekend. Okay. So we're going to read, we're going to practice. The idea is that we definitely practice the vocabulary. We're going to read. Let's see. If you have questions, if you find difficult words, definitely you can support. You can help each other in the group, right? So let me make the groups. How many people do we have? Yeah, we have 14 people already. Nice. Hey, Miss Maritza, how are you? Hi, teacher. <laughs> I'm fine. Glad. I'm glad to hear <laughs> that. Yes, welcome. Thank you. Welcome to tonight's class. We are reviewing the past tense, okay? And then we're going to study the past of B. All right. Melvin, buenas noches. Hola, buenas noches. Hello, hello, Hola. Mr. Mejia, Mr. Divorio, how are you? I'm fine. Good. Okay, this is what you're going to do. Somebody can project the story. ¿Alguno de los dos podría proyectar la historia como lo estoy haciendo yo en este momento? Y leer en voz alta. ¿Yes? Si alguien tiene dificultades, la otra persona le apoya. En vice versa. ¿Yes? Ok, teacher, ya lo buscando la foto. Ok, it's, it's on your WhatsApp group, definitely. 
Si lo pueden proyectar, perfect. Si no, lo pueden leer directamente desde el cell phone, no problem. De ahí es que lo vocalicen, que lo lean, que lo entonen. Y, y si la otra persona puede pues, apoyar de repente con alguna pronunciation, it's fine. Okay, yes. teacher. Perfect. Listo. Eh, esta imagen es verdad. Sí, esa yes. es. Yes. Esa es. I had a great weekend. I went to my best friend's Helen's wedding. She got married at home. All her friends and family went. She looked fantastic. She wore a beautiful dress. After the ceremony, her parents served. Hello. Hi, teacher. Welcome. Hello, hello. Okay, I sent an image. Yes. Yes, teacher. What's up? Yes. So you stay here mm -hmm. in the main station, no problem. You read it and mm -hmm. you help mm -hmm. each other, right? So try to vocalize, make the correct intonation, the right pronunciation, y ahí se lo pueden ir alternando. Si alguien leyó Kelly, then the other person read Travers, and the other read Irene, and then you can switch the roles. Yes? Perfect, teacher. Thanks. All right. Per perfect. Go ahead. I went to went to a rock concert. I had a terrible time. It took three hours to drive there. I didn't like the music at all. And after the concert ended, our car broke down. I called my parents and they came and got us. We finally got home at 10 this morning. I'm so tired. Okay, I'm going to go. I had an airport weekend. My friend and I went to rock a concert. I had a terrible time. It took three hours, hours to... My parents came and got. Uh -huh. A las 10 de esta mañana. Exacto. Y hoy en la got. Llevamos a casa. Ajá, en la semana. Sí, sí. got. Se repite dos veces. Sí. Ok. ¿Para? ¿En cuál, en cuál está compañera? No, no. Eh, la de Erin. ¿Cuál palabra dijo? Uh, got up. We got up early. Ah, en... okay. Sí, ajá. Son casi, casi, casi juntos. Se, se, se tendría ajá. que pronunciar. Ajá. Aquí estoy viendo yo y sí hay varias palabras así de las que están viendo con la ticha de, de pasado. Ajá. Ahí Veamos por de... historias. Ajá, la de Kelly. Ajá. Este, una de las que casi no, 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 no las he oído yo está la de Gore. Donde está debajo de la línea donde dice She Looks. Fantastic. 
She looked she... full weekend. My, my friend, I went to a rock concert. I had a terrible time. I took three horse to drive to. I didn't like the music at, at all. And after the concert, and the old car broke down. I called my parents and they can and get us. We finally got home at the, this morning. I am so tired. I had an interesting weekend. I went camping for the first time. My friend took me. We had left on Saturday and drove the camp. First, we put all the rent, then we put a fire cook dinner and told story. We got early on Sunday and went fishing. I caught the attic. I didn't really like camping, but I learned a lot. Uh -huh. No sé qué, si vamos a identificar, y a identificar ahí, vean los, los verbos. Creo que eso es lo que tenemos que hacer. ¿no? Vea. Yo que sí. Bueno. Ajá. Fuimos. Uh -huh. Es el pasado Ajá. de go, si no me equivoco. Ajá. La otra sería... Look at. Sería got married. She ah, sí, got cierto. married. Sí. sí. Mary. La otra sería look at. She looked, ajá. Uh -huh. Look. Look. Uh -huh. Esas palabras de último sí que cuestan pronunciar las fichas. ¿Cuál? She looked. Esa. Ajá. Yes. Uh -huh. Son las que terminan en D. Yeah, looked sounds like a T. Suena como una T. Looked. She looked beautiful. Looked. Fantastic. The siguiente. Sí, yeah. She wore. Sí. Uh -huh. After the ceremony, her parents served. Uh -huh. Sherbe, sir. No one for me. I'm really happy for her. And I really like her husband. Diana de Rosa. De Robert. Uh -huh. Porque aquí en la de Kelly ya y este, manejó tres horas para llegar al lugar y no le gustó la música no le gustó y después que terminó el concierto el carro como que este, dice de our car nuestro carro nuestro vehículo el, el drop down este como que le falló le falló y llamó a, a su pariente, a los familiares. Uh -huh. Y llegaron, ellos llegaron y este fueron, fueron a, a su casa. Y de Erin llegó bien cansado. <risa> había tenido un interesante fin de semana, como lo que me ha pasado. Se 
tipo de campamento. Uh -huh. Hello. Hi, teacher. <laughs> Did you finish? Yes. Okay, perfect. Good. We're going to wait for the others to return. The other rooms, okay? They are coming. They are coming back. Okay. They here they are. All right. Let's see. We have three stories from the weekend. And we're going to have some people reading. Maritza is going to read the first one. Let's see. Marta, you want to read the second one? And who, Ervita, you want to read the third one? Yes? Is that okay? Okay. All right, go ahead. Yes, teacher. All right, the first one? Kelly. Yes. I had a great weekend. I went to my best friend's Helen's wedding. She got married at home. All her friends and family went. She looked mm -hmm. fantastic. She wore a beautiful dress. After the ceremony, her parents shared a wonderful meal. I am really happy for her and I really like her husband. Very good. Just the word fantastic. Fantastic is wonderful. Yes, fantastic. Fantastic. Okay. Yes, next person. Okay, I had a wonderful well, weekend. My friend and I went to a rock concert. I had a terrible time. It took three hours to drive there. I didn't like the music at all. And after the concert ended, our car broke down. I called my parents and their kin came and got good out. So we finally got home at 10 this morning. I am so tired. Very good, very good. Difficult words, awful. Awful. Terrible, awful, bad, negative, okay? And oh no, the rain, my goodness. And the other one is, mm, let's see, let's see. Oh, finally. 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 Yes, we finally, finally got home. Actually, this is an expression that I like when I say, oh, finally. <laughs> finally. <laughs> yes, we finally got finally. home at 10 this morning. I am so tired. I am so tired. So tired. All right, the next one. I had an interesting weekend. I went camping for the first time. My friends took me. We left on Saturday and drove to the camp campsite. Campsite first. Yes. We put up the rent. The tent. Then the tent. Yes. The we boil built a fire. Built. Built a fire. Cooked dinner and told stories. We got up early on Saturday and went fishing. I caught a fish. I didn't really like camping, but I learned a lot. I learned. I learned a lot. But I learn, learn a lot. <laughs> this is a, a bit complicated. I know. Learn. <laughs> learn. Learn. Yes. It's like going with the tongue up. 
-huh. Tocar el paladar es el learned. Learned I learned a lot. lot. Yes. I'll ok. Campsite. Um, built. Cooked. Built. Dinner. To stories. Como Toy Story. Toy Stories. Told Stories. Porque si decimos history, eso es lo que ha sucedido a través de la historia. That's something else. So, this is stories. Ok. And that's it, I guess. All right. Okay. Remember that the drawings here, cuando seleccionan acá los drawings, seleccionan un circle y van a ir a encerrar los verbs in past, ¿ok? En cualquiera de las de las three stories. Are you ready? Ya le di el primero. Vamos a ver. Circle the verse in past. There are a lot of verbs in past, of course. Uh -huh. Okay, got. Very good, Maritza. Uh -huh. Went, Mr. Liborio. Uh -huh. War. Por ahí anda Tatiana también. All right. <laughs> difficult. <laughs> This is too difficult. Uh -huh. Served. Yes. Okay. Had. Went. Had. Uh -huh. Took. Looked. Didn't. Ended. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Came. That's right. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Told. Told stories. Mm -hmm. Went camping. Had an interesting weekend. Drove. Told. Cooked. Uh -huh. Went, didn't, learned. ¿Hay alguno que se nos haya quedado? <laughs> no me estén manchando la story. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's okay. <laughs> Vamos a usar el eraser por ahí. <laughs> Let's see, erase. Vamos a borrar acá. This little two. Mm -hmm. All right. What else? ¿Hay algo que se nos haya quedado? ¿Algún verb? Vamos a ver. Yes or no. Vamos a ver en la primera. I had a great weekend. I went to my best friend's wedding. She got married at home. Yes. Got or got married en este caso. En este caso sería todo, got married, porque fue casarse. Got, solo got puede tener otro significado. Yes, her friends, yes, got married. Mm -hmm. All her friends and family went. She looked fantastic. She wore a beautiful dress after the ceremony. Her parents served a wonderful meal. I'm really happy for her and I really like her husband. Very good. Aquí ya no hay ninguno. I had an awful weekend. My friends and I went to a rock concert. I had a terrible time. It took three hours to drive there. I didn't like the music at all. And after the concert ended, our car broke. They called my parents and they came and they got us. Yes. We finally got home at 10 this morning. I am so tired. Uh-huh. I had an interesting weekend. I went camping for the first time. My friends took me. We left. Yes, left on Saturday and drove to the campsite. First, we put up the tent. Yes, put up because put, put, put. It's the same in present or in past. Then we built. We built a fire, cooked dinner, and told stories. We got up early on Sunday and we went and went fishing. I caught a fish. I didn't write I didn't really like camping, but I learned a lot. Yes. That's right. All of the words were chosen. Okay. Clear. Clear all drawings. That's okay. 
let's see some people are writing on the chat see what they say yes sir okay somebody wrote on uh, the verse on the chat that's nice no problem questions is there any question about the stories do you have any question yes tell me and in the story of robert mm -hmm. Dice, and after the concert ended, uh -huh. our car broke down. Oh. Ese es junto. Ajá. Uh -huh. Tendría que ser junto. Broke down. Broke down. Sí, es un, es un phrasal verb. Es un verbo compuesto de dos palabras. Por eso se llama un phrasal verb. Se dañó. Se rompió. Se arruinó. Se averió. <ríe> Ahí no, no especifica. Simplemente que dejó de funcionar. Right? Broke down. Hay que acuérdense que a los vehículos les puede pasar cualquier cosa. <risa> ok, anything can happen to a car. Uh, sometimes they are a pain in the neck. <risa> yes, broke down. Any other question? No? No more questions? Good. Continue. Uh -huh. Cuéntenos de un weekend que haya sido interesante. Example. My weekend was very exciting. O sea, no necesariamente de last weekend. Algún weekend que ustedes hayan tenido que fue cool. Que fueron a un lugar chivo. I think I told you. I went to los planes de rendero. I saw the landscape. I saw beautiful view. I ate typical food. I had a good time. I enjoyed. I drove to los planes. That was a wonderful weekend. But as I went to say, I went to Cuatepeque Lake. I went to Chitoto. I went with my parents. Algún weekend que haya sido nice para usted. Okay? So. Para eso no tienen ningún ejemplo. Simplemente les tiene que salir from the bottom of your heart. ¿Okay? <ríe> Del corazón, recuérdense. Puede ser que tengan alguna bonita memory. O probably no tan bonito, pero algo pasó en algún weekend que ustedes todavía recuerden. ¿Ok? Let's see. En los mismos groups con los que estaban. All right. No. Hello, Daisy, Ana Mayoria y Tatiana. Hola. Hola. Bueno, ahí quizás podríamos este, inventar, digamos, algunas cosas. La cuestión es de que podamos nosotros tener un poquito más de vocabulario ahí y de, de poder practicar. Así que no se preocupe, compañera Mare. Si no se recuerda de alguno, ahí aunque se ha intentado hacerlo. Ok. Comencemos con esto. No sé, compañera, ¿quién quiere empezar? Si quiere empezar, sí, sí. después sigo yo. Empieza ah, usted, compañera Marisa. ¿Quién comenzaría? ¿Quién quiere? Okay. Oh, usted, compañera de ICI, va a comenzar. I spent my weekend with my partner and my sister in law and my cozy at the no sé cómo pronuncia esto pero es patron side festival of my series
Okay, next. Okay. I I remember weekend exciting um when I was what married um was a uh, I was ten three years ago. Exactly. I invited I invited um swing 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 uh -huh. swing 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 for hours in the in the beach in the press swing or swan swan and I at pitch no sé cómo se dice mariscado <laughs> mariscado bye bye Marilyn tu turno <laughs> excelente muy bien la pasó imagen usted que tenía la teacher no que hablaba que había ido al lago, había pasado nadando ah, por tres horas. No, es momento de bailar. No, no la puedo. Pero sé que dijo de qué vamos a hacer este, así como que... Uh, Prácticamente como se trata... Ajá. De conversar así como que normal, vea. Correcto, es correcto. Ajá. Es correcto lo que pudo haber pasado algún fin de semana o algún fin de semana. Todavía no he terminado yo lo que voy a decir. ¿Alguien sí ya terminó? Me está costando. Si gustas intenta contarnos la experiencia y vamos armándola en inglés en el camino. Gracias. I have a unhappy... Eight. Comer. Sí, ajá. En casa. Ajá. What? Sería, what did you eat? Eight. Eight. Uh -huh. ah, um, um, meat. 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 Uh, con meat uh, or, or barbacoa. Delicious. The next. ¿Quién sigue? Yo. My weekend was fun. I visited a forest called Santa Rita. We went for a walk and we saw some cockroaches. We brought uh, some sandwiches. We had a lot of fun. Okay. It's nice. Sí, es muy bonito, la verdad. Así <risa> he llegado. Me está costando lo demás. Me está costando bastantito lo demás. 
Okay. And after the, the wedding at my house, to coffee. Ah, you drank coffee. Uh, You drink or drink? Drink, drink porque como estamos hablando de algo que ya pasó y drink es presente, drunk ya es pasó. pasado. Ajá. Entonces, we drank coffee and ate, eh, creo que se dice. Sí, yo, tengo eh, que decir ah, siempre, we drank the coffee in my family, in my ¿cómo, house. ¿Cómo? Per Así. Perdón, ¿podría repetirlo? We drank the coffee. Uh -huh. We drank the coffee in my family in my house. No, my family ya no. como desde el principio de la historia ya estabas hablando de tu desde familia. Lo que digo family ya no, ya no. Ajá, entonces We ya have... en el resto de la historia nosotros asumimos que hablas de ti, de tu familia. Entonces ya solo tienes que decir we. Ah, va. Uh -huh. Con la primera vez que mencioné que la, que la historia se trata de ti tu familia y a las demás veces ya se lo decís güey. Para para decir te regreso a mi casa, te regreso a casa. You got back. Es como get back es regreso, es como volver, pero uh, bueno, creo que se dice así got tarde vencer, no sé cómo se dice. ¿Cuál? Atardecer. Hello. ¿Cómo es el atardecer? In the evening. Good evening, teacher. In the evening. En el atardecer puede ser in the evening también. In the evening. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. My family. Eh, eh, with my family. Eh, I saw the, the evening, dijo, teacher. Oh, in the evening, usted vio el atardecer o la puesta del sol, the sunset. Correcto, es correcto. Uh -huh. Ajá. The sunset. Sunrise, ¿qué es? Sunrise. Right. Sunrise es como la, la salida del sol. Entonces. In the eso, morning, yeah. we see the sunrise. In the afternoon, we see the sunset. Sunrise. Entonces, ahí está. Eh, my family, with my family. Eh, Eh, we saw the, the evening. Algo caso sería. Oh, pensa que es leche. This Saturday I was in the job. Y estuve en el trabajo. I was at work. Comí. Eh, el verbo ir en pasado sería como como se dice luego then 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 eh, el pasado de sleep slept slept con se verdad s l e p t slept um uh -huh. uh, then I sleep uh -huh. <laughs> solamente okay that was your weekend or oh, today yeah. uh -huh. okay great Everybody participated? Yeah. All right. Yes, Perfect. teacher. Nice, no problem. We danced at night. We made a bonfire on the shore on the beach. Okay. <laughs> ah, está bien. ¿Y qué hicieron después? Veamos. Hicieron una, una fogata y bailaron, entiendo. Sí. ¿Algo más que hayan hecho? Veamos. 
Contamos historias, pero no sé cómo es decir. Ah, entonces, we told stories. We, we told stories. Told stories. Told, told. que es el pasado de tell. Uh, talk. Uh -huh. Ajá, told. T-O-L-D. Stories. Stories. Okay. No, es stories sin la I al principio porque history es la historia y stories es historias así como de cuentos. Uh -huh. Sería story. Stories, comienza con esa la palabra. Uh -huh. Story. Ajá. Uh -huh. Exacto. Stories. Sí. Like Toy Stories. <laughs> If you can pronounce the, the movie, then you can pronounce the word correct. It's stories. Toy Stories, you say. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much. Good job. Excellent. All right. Let's continue. Everybody was talking about the weekends. Uh, you, well, some of you were sharing very interesting stories about your weekend. Yami, you have a question. Tell me. Yes, teacher, en contexto, eh, cuando nosotros estuvimos conversando ahí en el grupo, uh -huh. este, había una oración que querían, bueno, el compañero quería expresar que nosotros habían, habían nadado en la piscina, uh -huh. pero este, obviamente buscamos ahí en Google Translate, pero el verbo no lo cambiaba al pasado, según el traductor, siempre me ponía we swim. Entonces, este, era como nosotros nadamos. Sí, lo que pasa es que... Nosotros nadamos en tiempo Ajá, pasado. Pero... Exacto, lo que pasa es que allí Google Translate no les identifica que ustedes lo quieren conjugar en pasado, porque nadamos, nadamos en presente y nadamos en pasado es igual en español. Entonces, lo que tenían que poner es swim past. O sea, ustedes buscar el pasado de swim. Ajá. Entonces la oración correcta era... We swam. We swam, we swam in the pool. We swam the in the pool. We swam for three hours in the pool. Yes. Thank mm -hmm. you, teacher. Sí, lo que pasa es que ahí, eh, bueno, ustedes saben que no, no todo es tan literal, obviamente. And Google is just, <laughs> it's just a, an app, pues, so it's like a robot. And we don't speak like that, okay? That's why we need to study. <laughs> sí, sí, sí. Mm -hmm. Sí, uno lo ocupa como un auxiliar. De... Pero, ya, yeah, no, and it's okay. Ajá. Pero mi recommendation es que siempre pongan, cuando ustedes quieran saber algo, pónganlo de una vez en inglés. Por ejemplo, en este caso, usted pudo haber escrito, The Path of Swim. Y rápido le iba a tirar swam. <laughs> Because ahí sí. But from one language to another pueden haber algunas cosas que no las toma como son, sino que las toma literal. Mm -hmm. yeah, okay. Thank you, no problem. This conversation is so interesting. Melissa says, I was born in... Uh -huh. I was born Korea. in Korea. <laughs> Everybody, todos los que estamos aquí in the class, we were born in? El Salvador, I think. El Salvador. <laughs> of course, El Salvador. <laughs> aquí nadie puede decir, I was born in England. <laughs> I was born in Italy. I was born, I was born means yo nací en. Yes, of course, we were born in different cities. Yes, I was born in Santana, I was born in Chalata, I was born in, in, San, in San Miguel, I was born in La Unión, I was born in Chalatenango, whatever, okay? Or specify, pueden especificar la ciudad, even the town where you were born. Because everybody was born in El Salvador, pero no todos nacimos en la misma ciudad, ¿verdad? Sorry, escríbanlo en el chat. I was born in Santa Ana.
Okay, good job. We say, yes, I was born in, oh my God. <laughs> er, Erving says, uh, Erving, right? I mispronounce your name all the time, all right. I was born in San Salvador. <laughs> I was born in Soyapango. I was born in Santana, right? I was born in San Salvador. I was born in Sonsonate. I was born in San Miguel, but I, I live in Gotera. Oh my God, Melvin, you live far away. I was born in San Salvador. I was born in Morazan. I was born in Chalchuapa City. Oh, I have a friend from Chalchuapa. I was born in Tonacatepeque. I was born in Rosario de Mora. I want to go to Rosario de Mora. They say it's a beautiful place. I was born in San Salvador. I was born in San Salvador. I was born in San Salvador. I was born in San Salvador in Mexicanos. All right. I was born in Usulután, in Berlin, Usulután. I was born in Santiago Nonualco. That's a nice place too. It's beautiful. You have a nice view of the lake. I was born in San Salvador in Mexicanos again. I'm sorry. I repeat it. Okay. I was born in Santiago Nonualco. That is the region is La Paz. Okay. Ajá, vamos a ver. Adivinen. Yo no les voy a decir where I was born. Yo creo que ya lo dije, pero escriban ahí. ¿Dónde creen que la teacher was born? Ustedes solo pongan la ciudad. No tiene que poner she was born in Los Angeles, she was born in Paris, she was born in Italy. No, solo la ciudad donde creen que I was born. Vamos a ver quién. Por $100. San Salvador. San Salvador. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Nadie ha acertado hasta ahorita. <laughs> Because only two people say San Salvador. Santa Ana, La Libertad. Mm, no. Not yet. Tienen que ser creative. Right. Imagine Santa Tecla, Chalatenango. She was born in Chalatenango. No, not yet. La Paz, San Martín. No. Guess, guess, continue, continue. She was born in La Libertad, Sonsonate. You were born in Usulután. No. You were born in Morazán. I never been to Morazán. Nunca he ido a Morazán. I want to go. She was born in Aguachapán. No. A ver si se sabe los departamentos de Salvador. She was born in Antiguo Cuscatla. I love. She was born in Cabañas. Yes. I was born in Cabañas. My parents are originally from a town called Sensuntepeque, which is the capital city of Cabaña, but now they live in Ilovasco. Of course, I was born in Cabañas, but I didn't grow up in Cabañas. I moved to San Salvador when I was a baby. My parents came to San Salvador, then they returned. We returned when I was 12 or 13 years old. I lived for five more years there in Ilovasco. Then I returned to the university and I live all my life in San Salvador. So that's my story. Yeah, Glenda. She has a good eye. The eye of the tiger. Okay. Vaya, vamos a ver la historia de, de, de esta chica. ¿Cómo es que se llama? Melissa. No, vamos a ver la historia de la teacher. Where? Okay. Aquí vamos a tener un pequeño, un pequeño... Reto, por eso lo voy a spotear. I'm gonna spot it this. Where were you born? Entonces, la primera y la segunda palabra son bastante parecidas, pero no es la misma, ¿ok? Vamos a ver. Where were you born, Melissa? I was born in Korea. Oh, so you were born in the U.S. No, I came here in 1999. Hmm, you were pretty young. Yes, I was only 17. Did you go to college right away? No, my English wasn't very good. So I took English classes for two years. Well, your English is really good now. Thanks. Your English is pretty good too. Yeah, but I was born here. Okay. Pecado sería que Choc hablara mal. Because he was born in the state. <laughs> All right, one more time. Where were you born, Melissa? I was born in Korea. Oh, so you weren't born in the U.S. 
No, I came here in 1999. I came here to San Salvador in 1999 too. Imagine a long time ago. Hmm, you were pretty young. Yes, I was only 17. Did you go to college right away? No, my English wasn't very good. So I took English classes for two years first. Well, your English is really good now. Thanks, your English is pretty good too. Yeah, but I was born here. Do you have any question with the vocabulary? Uh, el año, teacher. <laughs> 1999. Con los años, generalmente antes del siglo XXI, que es el que fue del 2000, ¿verdad? Porque cuando llegamos al 2000 no podíamos decir 2000. Entonces decimos de un solo la cantidad de años, 2000, 2001. Aunque ya después del 2001 podría ser que se dividiera entre dos y dos cifras. 20 o 1, pero no era tan común. Ahora sí porque ya llegamos a 2021, 2022, ¿sí? Yes? Pero, por ejemplo, cuando empezó la pandemia era 2020. <laughs> kind of complicated, right? Pero sí, en el años antes del 2000, sí decíamos 1998, 1992, 1999. Era como más fácil. Entonces, generalmente se tienden a dividir entre dos cifras. Ok, thank you, teacher. Right. Ajá, vamos a ver aquí los años cuando nacieron. <laughs> I was born in... 1990, 19, <coughs> no, yo sé que ustedes todos son después del 2000. You look very young. Not really, not me. Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> Of course. <laughs> no, no, vamos a revelar Digamos esas cosas sí. porque yo no tendría el corazón. It's top secret, It's top exactly. secret. Exactly, that's difficult to reveal. <laughs> <laughs> yes. No, it's okay. No problem. Okay, we're gonna respect that privacy. <laughs> okay. So, any other question? Hay alguna otra question? Algo más que les dé alguna dificultad o algo que quieran practice? No. Okay. No problems. Bueno, vamos a practicar la conversation. Oh no, we don't have more time. Bueno, se la voy a enviar para que la practiquen. I can send the picture for you to practice the conversation, okay? Let's see. Somebody wrote something on the chat. I was born in 19. <laughs> Melvin is funny, okay? <laughs> He is very funny. <laughs> yes, pero sí, no, no, mucho de acá. No somos del después del 2000, no podemos decir I was born in 2000. No, no right? Pero dice está top secret. I know. Pero con que sepamos cómo se dice, it's, it's okay, okay? I was yes, born in 1980. 1980. I see you. All right. Okay. It's a question. All right. Nice seeing you. Have a good night. Bye, Wonderful. Bye, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Bless you. Bye. 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 Bye.